Hi, good afternoon. I'm Cecilia, Cecilia Shin. I'm here again today, especially for my uh, new channel again. Now today I'm very happy and excited. I want to uh, introduce my best and love. You know, call what? Spring roll. This spring roll, you can call in Chinese, no hiang, and then uh, in English it's called spring roll. Everything is called spring roll. The spring roll, different kind of skin, and also different kinds of uh, way. In spring roll, in Chinese for Singapore, Korean or Asia, it got many types. And many, many varieties. Some want to put prawn, shrimp, chicken meat, eggs, whatever, or mushroom. But for me today, I want to uh, introduce to you and teach you how to cook. Simple, juicy, crispy, and very good remembrance. Once you eat, you always remember me. So now is the ingredient part. This is the meat pork. I have seasoned and also mixed some of the uh, ingredients inside. Pork, meat pork, 500 grams. Crab meat, flower crab meat, the blue kind of uh, flower with the flowery uh, soft bone. You, know? you steam the crab and take out the meat or you buy from supermarket. You mix together with the 500 grams meat pork. No seasoning. The only seasoning you have is one tablespoon of oyster sauce, oyster, one tablespoon rice wine, a dash of pepper. Now carrot, you cut, you cut carrot or you strike, strip it into fine long long pieces and then you chop it into small little 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 tiny piece okay then you 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 only need just half a bowl sorry four watercress four one two three four I already cut and show you how it is pieces huh? and you chop it into pieces the little bit tiny and little bit rough or a little bit like uh, not too big not too small is do for crunchy bits for crunchy so you you can eat at the time you want to feel that there's watercress so you mix together four watercress chop so this is the ingredient no others and last is to add one tablespoon cooking oil with four tablespoon of tapioca flour four if you don't have tapioca, corn flour. Don't have potato flour. Also can four. So all this I marinate already inside. So once you marinate inside, you pour oil already, right? One tablespoon oil. Mix it very well, like now. What I have done, I really season it, and you have to season. Mix it really season it about two, three, four hours. The longer the better. Then we will go into rolling. How you go? How and what? Uh, Things that you need to roll is this one. We call it in Chinese, in, we call it Uchuk Pei. In English, they call it the bean sheet, huh? one piece, one piece. They are a total of one big sheet, just like the wrapping paper. But what I do is I already cut them and I also clean it up. Now you need to clean with a wet cloth to really clean one time, two time, three time, here one time, two time because this one a lot a lot of salt fine salt they season it to maintain the freshness of this uh, uh, ingredient and especially the sheet itself now you cut according to the same size I so show you the size huh? they are all the same in the same sheet but what I do is I already trim and cut them so it becomes four by eight. And then if you cut already all the same size, you put it all together and you clean. One way, one way, two way. So use a tea cloth, this cloth, huh? tea cloth, fold them into four, you hold and then wrap it. Wrap it and then turn over. Again, you do the same. Or you dab the wet cloth. So how you know whether the salt is still there, you wash your hand, tip it and then you taste. And then if the sheet itself is no more taste, no more salty, fine. Then you will go for rolling. This is very important. 
this is the steamer you see steamer itself must apply oil before you steam anything so use the brush to brush yeah the base of the steamer a little bit oily so that when you steam the skin uh, of the bean curd will not stick on it so if this is a lot then I need two tray but at the moment I think it's only one tray so my steamer is on the fire now it's on the fire it's boiling with water so I roll already then I will leave, bring it to steam at least about five to eight minutes so I'll show you how we are going to roll it. Huh? Rolling got many, many patterns also. If I were to wear a hand glove, of course I can. But I try try to, to not to wear hand glove because the skin itself will melt, melt uh, wet, uh, it will stick on it, it will be broken. So please excuse me, huh? so you see, one table big spoon, put it onto the skin. So you see, this is quite a big piece, huh? two tablespoons will do. Estimate, you estimate, huh? or if you're so scared, huh? then you weigh it. Huh? Now you see, two tablespoons, make it in the center, even though down here, it must be balanced. Huh? Okay, both balance. Then your hand, both sides, hold. Fold it. Can you see? You fold it. So the corner here, you fold. Bring it in. Then bring it, both sides, bring it in corner with your third, third, the, the, the fourth finger. Press the skin and then move back to the center. Slowly, tenderly. Everything we do with love, huh? lovingly see it's rolled up already so this is the opening mouth right okay what you do is a little bit of corn flour with water dip it wet it and then we just roll it so when we roll then we pull it over the steamer pull it nicely the the the, the back is always below huh so we just fill it up fill up then we steam Steam. This is such a big one like that, nah. We steam after about five minutes. It will be done. No need to overcook because after you need to fry. I, I need to steam it now and then I let it cold. So later on, I will show you how we fry. Okay. Thank five you. Minutes. It will be done. No need to overcook because after you need to fry. I, I need to steam it now and then I let it cold. So later on, I will show you how we fry. It will be the okay. last part. No. This one, the Ngo Hiang, the spring roll is already cold. I pre-cooked it earlier, do it earlier, so that I can show you how to fry. This part is just now I steam, yeah, the spring roll I steam. I steam already, it must let it cold, at least three, four hours, totally cold. And then this one, and then your, your spring has to put inside the fridge. To fridge it, say about four, five hours, like this now, it's totally cold. I use my hand now, it's cold and wet. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll show you how to fry. Eh? Use a towel, a kitchen towel, because it's wet, eh? it's in the fridge, right? Cold. Kitchen towel. Dab it dry. Squeeze a bit, no water. Totally no, a little bit more have. At the side, usually they are quite wet. Okay, that, that like that. Huh? Then slice it. This is for frying. You want to fry a whole piece, also can. Then you cut. So now I show you two methods. Huh? This one will fry. I don't cut. So this, I'm going to cut. Hold it and then you cut. If you did not pull it properly and steam it properly and chill it properly, this will be very wet and when you cut it will spill and drop. It will drop it out, not the meat or drop out. But because after that you chill it, it's firm. 
so you see it's firm very firm so when it is firm when you fry it it is beautiful so now we go and see how to to fry it okay frying pan hot see the frying pan is hot totally hot and now we fry. I show you the the the, the piece, uh, fry one piece first, huh? Usually people like to fry one piece. Not that hot yet. Slowly, on high fire. Then when you put in, you need to turn, uh, so that now it will be very even, okay? Then I put in the small piece that I cut. I put it turn it this way. The meat on top and just put it down. Low fire, then after that high fire. We just only want to brown the skin because it's already cooked, okay? It's already not done. We stir it occasionally. Use the chopstick to turn it. So from the bottom, we just turn it up. See, the meat never come up one. Don't have to worry. So this is really okay, very yellow already. I have to turn it. Sometimes you need to hold it for a while because they are very slippery and round ones. So that most side all can turn properly. When frying, you need a bit more oil. Don't be stingy, huh? Ah. If no oil, yeah, you fry the thing not nice one, ah. So turn slowly and then turn it round. Turn it round. Slowly fry in the golden color. Then this is the whole piece. Ah, uh, whole piece one is after that. Then you cut lah. You see the golden color. Now you want to eat with chili sauce, tomato sauce, or you make your own sweet and sour sauce. Very simple, ma. Plum, uh, plum sour, uh, lemon. And then plum sweet mix them together a little bit of vinegar then you get the nice plum sauce and then you dip lah but don't want lah for us i will prefer we just eat like that it's very delicious so this one is just to go round now you need to see how to cook especially the oil is very hot now turn always turn don't don't just carelessly don't turn you don't turn only at one moment all here become black you see so now I want to I want the other side to be black I turn. Nah, see, accidentally yeah. This one also ah, here black, don't here not black, black I turn. So don't go away yeah, when you're doing this. So this is the way we do how we fry on here. Nah, just dip it. Piece by piece. Then put it into here under the kitchen towel. It's already done. So the fire you go to the medium heat lah. You don't go to the high heat. So this one, now this is still hot right, I off it. Then the oil is very hot, you take it up. When you take it up, uh, it's so hot, the oil dripping off. It will not be oily, the whole thing will not be the oily. So you see what you get, more hiang. Beautiful, beautiful more hiang. This one I uh, have to slice and cut. Lah. So I will cut and show you. So people got many types, they like to fry. You go restaurant, uh, they will fry piece by piece like that, right? piece by piece lah. then some people don't like they like like Chan New Year they own self cut so they steam like this so what they do is they slice and put on the plate and then decoration hold it lah. crispy you know very crispy knife must be sharp juicy tender outside crispy and it's wonderful So 
beautiful. Huh? So this is my finishing.